Hey again, everybody out there in Corona self-isolation land. I hope you're doing well. Yannick Bisson from CBC's Murdoch Mysteries. Um, here we are, another day. Uh, boy, I have to say there was an overwhelming um, reaction to the last video I put out where I talked about um, certain issues uh, that I struggle with. And uh, it, it's um, it was a really great time of, of sort of connecting with people. I, I uh, it was a new thing for me, um, and it's hard to talk about oneself uh, when you don't have a script and a story and something already worked on by hundreds of people. You're just talking about yourself and the not-so-pretty parts of yourself, and um, it was really well-received, so uh, thank you. And um, I certainly feel encouraged to talk a little bit more about myself. I'm always hesitant to do that. Um, I, I just sometimes, I, I, I don't know, I get put off by that. Uh, I feel like... Just because we have a public voice doesn't mean we have to use it as performers, but um, apparently we're all sort of needing to connect right now and there's um, there's a bit of a need for it. So I, I, I figured I'll just keep going. Tell you a little bit more about myself. I'm not just, you know, Murdoch guy. I, I, I don't just mountain bike and I don't just um, lift weights and talk about my dogs and uh, um, things like that. I have a lot of creative pursuits as well that I um, am finally able to uh, look after or, or grow just like the different rows in your garden. Um, this time has helped me to reconnect with so many, uh, so many industry professionals that I, I know and love and respect, uh, people that have hired me in the past, uh, people I've hired in the past, people I've collaborated with. And I'm finally able to move forward some of the creative uh, projects that I've been working on for some time. Um, some include uh, some lifestyle programs that uh, talk about, you know, the, the, the heroes in our community. Um, also talk about uh, a couple of ideas that I have, one of them being an indigenous uh, uh, story that really, really needs to be told. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm just being able to connect with uh, network executives and, and, and people that are very in, involved in the day-to-day -day, um, direction that show business is going because it's changing all the time and if you stop paying attention for five minutes you're completely out of the loop you know there the, the way that people are streaming uh, um, things now uh, for instance this is very different than it was just a handful of years ago so you know it's great to be able to see what content is needed out there and the way that it's going out to people. So I'm really excited about being able to use this time to do that. I used to do a show called The Adventures of Napkin Man. That was very different for me and I really enjoyed that. Um, I had to really be out of myself because kids can spot a phony 10 miles away and I had to sing songs. That was very scary. So that was a big reason why I did that show and, and it won awards and I was really happy for that. But the main reason I did it was, was really quite selfish, was to be able to move my creative pursuits forward. And I haven't been able to do that um, recently. Um, Murdoch Mysteries, wildly popular show. If you haven't seen it, you should. Uh, it takes up a lot of my year and um, my time off this year has been extended. I'm sure yours has as well. So I'm making the most of it by connecting with industry professionals. and. Um, one of the people I got off the phone with today is a guy named Jack, Jack Bloom, who co-wrote the very first project I was ever in as a kid called Hockey Night. Now Jack is putting together, he's, he's in charge of what is known as um, National Canadian Film Day. And this year it's on April 22nd. And that highlights all sorts of Canadian film for all sorts of Canadian audiences. Thousands of screenings usually every year. Now obviously that's not gonna happen this year. So it's gone online. So look out for um, news about it and it's coming up April 22nd and um, we're gonna be live tweeting, talking about the show and how, as much as we can remember about making it. But that's a perfect example of somebody I've reconnected with and I'm probably gonna, I'm, fingers crossed, I'll be able to talk to Megan Follows about it. Big, huge star. If you don't know her, you should. And um, we'll be able to chat about it. She's a dear, dear friend of mine, and I just love her to bits. So that will be able to be seen um, on Canopy uh, streaming service. Um, a lot of the libraries uh, make that available, um, especially because it's all Canadian content. 
So you'll be able to see it on there and a bunch of other places. So that's what I've been up to while I've been at home, flattening the curve, staying safe, stopping the spread, and um, just flat out being smart. We want this to be over with really soon. I'm sure everyone does. So uh, let's stay connected. Let's stay safe. I'll see you soon.